We are given the limit which has the derivative of composite function g at point a. So at first we, sh we have to find the possible function g at a number a. So our limit is x plus to 0 of square root of 4 plus sine of x minus 2 over x can be written as limit as x approach 0 of square root of 4 plus sine of x and 2 can be written as square root of 4 plus sine of 0 where sine of 0 equals 0 and over x minus 0 so now we're going to compare this with limit as x approaches a of g of x minus g of a and over x minus a and we get that g of x equals square root of 4 plus sine of x and a equals 0. So now we're gonna differentiate g of x with respect to x and we get g of the root of g of x equals 1 over 2 times square root uh, square root of 4 plus sine of x and here we're going to use chain rule so multiply by derivative of 4 plus sine of x respect to x and that's going to be 1 over 2 square root of 4 plus sine of x times derivative of constant is 0 and derivative of sine of x is cosine of x so our derivative is cosine of x or 2 times square root of 4 plus sine of x. Therefore, limit as x approaches 0 of square root of 4 plus sine of x minus 2 over x equals limit as x approaches 0 of square root of 4 plus sine of x minus four, square root of 4 plus sine of 0 and over x minus 0 which is equal to derivative of g at point 0 because we know that derivative of g at point a equals to limit as x approaches this point of g of x minus g related at a and over x minus a So we substitute 0 in our derivative and that's going to be cosine of 0 over 2 times square root of 4 plus sine of 0 and that's equals 1 over 4. So that's the value of the given limit.